Today so. is a very curious day. Curiosity. Curiosity, Curiosity may Curiosity. kill the cat. We don't know. But yeah. satisfaction brought or it back. Perhaps. <laughs> maybe it didn't kill the cat, but maybe it killed the rooster. Uh, <laughs> I, I see what you did. Oh, there. the other rooster. <laughs> I see what you did. Okay. There. <laughs> cock a doodle doo. <laughs> cock a cock a cock. <laughs> See, there's there's taking it farther. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Fives of Crowd. I am surrounded by my four best friends and your five oh. new best friends. We got Cam, Hip. Chris, Hello, Tony, Hello, and Zach. Hola. And uh, I'll be hosting this one. We're kind of flying off the cuff on this one. My name's Austin. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. We didn't really come prepped for a second topic, but I've had this <gasps> one kind of in the. In the background, in the backs backs of my minds, uh, I think it'll be really fun. And it's perfect because these are things we are not supposed to know about the <laughs> female sex. So what better way to hide that secret than to put it on the internet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just curious how many of these I actually know. <laughs> right? All right. So this actually comes from the subreddit of Ask Reddit. And the question is, what are some girls' secrets guys don't know about? Mm. Um, before we dive into it, if you're new here, help us out. Hit that subscribe down below. I can guarantee you by the end of this episode, you're going to be laughing. You're going to want to come back next week and every week thereafter. So do yourself the favor and treat yourself to that subscribe. Um, first one on the list. Yeah. Do we want to give us? Oh, oh, parental advisory. But I was also thinking we could do our questions real quick. Well, I got out of it. You guys didn't seem interested. Well, I no, was. we are interested. <laughs> we <laughs> are probably should have done it on the last video. <laughs> okay, but before we jump into the questions, a parental advisory. If you're listening, if there's little kids around, throw in your earphones. Ear, ear, ear pods, ear pods, ear yeah. pods or ear pods? Ear pods are the wired ones. What? Ear pods are the wireless. Oh, gosh. Okay, throw in either. I don't care. <laughs> ear Just, uh, You know... Put some headphones on. Don't Your be earbuds. listening to this on a speaker at work. <laughs> yeah. Just do NSFW. Yeah. I found out what that means. For work. Like just barely? It's <laughs> safe for life, not safe for work. Okay, Alrighty. give us some questions from the previous episode. Okay, a couple Good questions uh, from you, the fans. Uh, first one from Taylor Millet, 7222. What must what is a must essential in your relationship when wifey is preggers? A musty Hashtag or must daddy. You heard musty too. Did I say musty? <laughs> I did. Yeah, I heard it at first. <laughs> what is a must essential in your relationship when wifey is preggers? Yeah. Hashtag daddy. Hashtag daddy. Hashtag <laughs> body pillow. Daddy. Yeah. The body pillow. Body That's pillow. true, actually. Body pillow. That That's is true. a good one. That's why I said it. Karen never had that. <laughs> no? Mm. You're a terrible husband. She never wanted one. I'm just or did she want you to get her one, but did she didn't actually want to ask me. You were her <laughs> body <laughs> pillow. Kind of on the sleeping thing. I forgot which kid it was with, but Jenny, she had to sleep on her back, which obviously is a no-no, but she would like prop herself up. So she had to like sleep on her back elevated just to even get some sleep. Like it was it was rough. Dude, we got those beds that elevate. Oh you know? yeah. We yeah. ended up the getting one of base. those, but after all the They're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Adjusted Sleeping bases. Sleeping on an incline great. is fantastic. Yeah. I like the zero G. Man, that makes me feel so old saying that. But that zero G setting and oh yeah. <laughs> it's the best. It is <laughs> awesome. It's great. It's also great for other things. Sex. <laughs> well, I was just thinking sleep. Implied. <laughs> <laughs> For a sore knee, elevating it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, yeah uh -huh. rest, rest. Keeping your feet up for you ice, know, good circulation. Compression <laughs> and elevation, right? <laughs> Reduce the swelling. So when you're stuffy, it doesn't. Bro, yeah. seriously, that yeah. honestly, that's a game changer. It is. Uh -huh. If you're sick, you raise your head a little bit so you don't get that post nasal drip in the back oh, of your yeah, throat. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Pretty much eliminate any cough. It's great. So much so much better. Yep. Uh, another essential was. Oh man, that's a good question. Essentials. I'm trying to think. Patience. A lot of patience. Yeah. And understanding. Yeah. That's a tough one. 
because we don't understand what they're going through. Nope. No, no, no. But we got to try. Got to try. Got to try. Yep. Um, the another question uh, from Tammy Tammy Flanagan sixty two eighteen hashtag Daddy Tammy. Since you asked, I'm much older and my children are as well, so I'll put it on you. How do you think you would handle your child moving to another country fresh out of college? And then in parentheses, she put Ugh. her daughter moved to Belgium. Dang. Belgium. <sighs> my Get kids that are, chocolate. I don't know if I... My kids are still too young. I can't even... My travel expenses will go up astronomically. That's oh, true. yeah. Depending on where they went. Yeah. Would you, would <laughs> you consider <laughs> relocating? I mean, assuming they didn't move out of country to move away from you. Yeah. Yeah. Would you consider relocating? Are you retired though? But you could, your debt, like you could go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, granted, you wouldn't have your clientele. You're starting from scratch, yeah. But I mean, starting. I would hope. You mean? (laughs) (laughs) That's a good dad joke. I like it. Come on, that was gold. <laughs> Nothing but I, I missed good. it. I'll that be honest. Said, you mean starting from dent instead of oh, scratch? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, that was gold. <laughs> you, I could see. Have you seen that commercial of the like the, the foot doctor? He's he's like got a boom in clientele because he took us he took a cement ball. And he painted it to look like a soccer ball and just left it in the field. <laughs> so people run up and kick it and like break their ankle. And then his billboard is like right there. So they all go to him. <laughs> He's just running around with like hail in his pockets, throwing it on cars. <laughs> we, we were just watching that. Uh, gosh, what's that family of like 19 kids? 19 kids and counting? That's the one. The what's Duggars. The, the Duggars. There's Ooh. that docuseries on a minute. Mm-hmm. And is there he, some crazy stuff happened. Well, he did a he it was kind of given the backstory on them and who they are and one of them was the father. He like leading up to his TV show personality and all that stuff <clears throat> taking off, but the jobs that he did beforehand, one of them was a car salesman and then he doubled as a tow truck driver. Jeez. So it's like, ah, uh, you buying some dodgy, you know, it's like Dodgy cars that are breaking down on the side of the road. Oh, hey, let me tow you. Lemons. Let me tow you, and then I'll, I'll buy it from uh, you for dirt cheap. Yeah. Wormwood. <clears throat> uh, Matilda's dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the drill. <laughs> right. Going back on the mileage. Yeah. Yeah. No, I... Super glue in the... Really, though, if, if my kid moved on. away, yeah, I would hope I was in a spot personally that I could potentially follow him. Yeah. Well, but, here's the hard thing. Which kid? Yeah, that's so true. if it's your first kid, you still have three others. Yep. I wouldn't chase them. I guess it depends on which kid it is. <laughs> just, just like we just have a favorite. Like, wow. that's like, well, you have the, the college age one. So let's assume it's our oldest children. They're college age. They just got out. They're good to go. But some of the other kids are still going to be in school or still have connections here and maybe don't want to leave those connections. So like, well, and what if it is? What if they're moving away? Oh, it says fresh out of college. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, what if they were moving away for college? Yeah, and that's the other but, question. Were they in town for college, or did they already move away? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd go after them. You know, I had, a, I had a co-worker. Luckily, she was just like a couple years away from retirement, so she could take that early retirement. But her daughter and son-in-law moved across the country, so they moved to like south, south or North Carolina. Now, I don't remember which one. But the, uh, luckily for them, it worked out. It was their only daughter and grandkids, and they were both ready to retire. So they just retired and yeah. followed them out there. And I, I would hope that that's where I would be if and, and when it came. I feel like we'd all do whatever we could to make sure we stay close. Yeah. Whether it's like, hey, let's go, let's go summer in Belgium and come back here. Yeah. Or winter, whatever. Kind of yeah, around, be, depending on how many kids. It would be tough. Because I know, like, my wife's family, like her parents currently live in Ohio. Her sister lives in Cincinnati, which isn't terribly far from where they live. But then her brother, they live up in like New Hampshire and then she lives here in Utah, but they bounce all over the place. Yeah. 
And so they're constantly visiting. So it, it's almost as if they do live just mm-hmm. down the street because they travel so much. But in fairness, they were financially prepared. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and and all prepared. the children are old enough that no one's depending on them. Yeah. yeah. But I would have to say, like, I don't know. I'd almost be, te- I'd be tempted to threaten, like, well, you move away. That's fine. You're just removed from the will. <laughs> <laughs> like keep them close i don't know that's yeah. just me being jokeful but yeah. yeah it's like that saying though it's like might jokeful. as well be on the moon yeah that's my answer remember your training <laughs> gosh i don't know that's I, tough it's scary that's because really tough. you've seen those statistics and stuff that talk about like that that time like once they hit college age the amount of time that you've seen them, you've already seen them the majority of the time you ever will Yep. Yeah. I don't like hearing that. I I hate it. That's why I say, nah, F them. <laughs> they want to leave? <laughs> Go ahead and leave. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they wow. broke down to two. <laughs> <laughs> How are your kids, Zach? What, all, all two of them? <laughs> right. I have two. <laughs> I could have, have two. three again if she moves just two, back. Just two but... is forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Never tough. had more than two. <laughs> like I have, I have an, I'm friends with another family where <clears throat> their son moved to Philadelphia to go to doctorate school, and then their other son moved to Canada to go to dental school. And Canada. So, but my the yeah. one son is still serving mm, his residency and will be for the next three years out in New York. So mm. it's just like, I don't know. That's crazy to think about. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like thinking about Dude, it. Dude, I'd be sad, I but I'd be proud like of them it. too. Yeah, you know right? what I mean? I don't so, like honestly, it. like for their sake, I hope summer. that they're. I hope that they're able to do something awesome like that. Hey, enough of Canada. They've got oh, some Canada. good candy. That's sour soothers. I was. Yeah. T- I was just thinking, you know, Canada, oh, similar to England. England doesn't have greatest the greatest dentist. So we they have a candy called the big one too. Sour they, put gravy, they put gravy on their fries, so they're pretty high in my, uh, <laughs> Bro. my book. Speaking Poutine. of which, we we're going to be trying that. Yes! Yeah, I know. I went through oh. that box over there. Well, not the gravy Some and fries, but I there? went through the box over there. I was a little jealous. Wow. Should be. Well, but didn't want to try we're going to be trying now. poutine. Oh, boy. But Shaylee had to have her Braxton Hicks contractions. <laughs> that's why I, that's why Jess was practicing all the French fries. Anyway, what? All right, all right. Let's go into the topic. We got any more questions or no? Uh, not like directly directly to us. There was one more actually. Let me. Oh, of course. It's got to load. Loading, loading, loading. Um, I just want to pull it up so I can say who it was from. Um, because it was a simple one to hurry and answer here. Uh. That all being said, feel free to leave us your questions down below. But wait until the end of the podcast. So <laughs> give me the code word. So I guess here's the code word. Here's one. Uh, just asking us. So this is from Megan Ellis nine three eight six. Um, hashtag aliens. This is from yes. from our, one of our just vomit episodes. Are you guys going to do any more podcasts in different locations? I did see this comment. I I want really, to really yeah. want to. It's here's just the thing. hard with the babes right now. Yeah, here's and the thing the is <laughs> there are yeah. five schedules in front of you. Five different families, five different schedules, mm-hmm. five different lives being led. Yeah. And it's really hard for us to plan and coordinate an on location podcast. And get a video monitor that we can't even work here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, right now we're experiencing we're technical difficulties in the studio. So to try and think of doing this outside again would be, I mean, we would just take our old equipment. That, that's fine. Yeah. But it is tough right now. I'm not saying it's not a possibility in the future. I'm definitely open to it. But right now it's just a little bit hard. So here's I one. think we will eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely we will. Jeez. Here's one kind of sort of along the same lines a little bit. Um, this one's from Annette Ward 2047. She says, I love watching your podcast, guys. Have you ever thought of doing one as a live stream? Yes. That is definitely something that, that is, we have. Yeah. yeah. Um, Once again, the schedule thing is tough. Yeah, schedule's the biggest limiting factor there. We generally get together... And we're filming by eight or nine at night, which at that time for a live stream, honestly, might probably do good. 
I don't know. Um, but it's just another layer of complexity, another layer of technology that we need to take into consideration. And, uh, hopefully in the future, it's something we've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um, with your support, we would love to be able to eventually make this, uh, you know, a morning show or something where Zach's way more awake Mm -hmm. (laughs) and we can actually do live streams and have all that fun. But it's just right now, uh, it's a struggle bus, you know? Just, just, just getting by on gas fumes, guys. So your support truly means the world to us. It keeps our lights on, keeps us going here. So, throwing the question back at you, like yeah. Austin said, if we were to do a live stream at say nine, ten o'clock, this is that's mountain time. Mountain time. So on East Coast, that would be like midnight, eleven p.m. Yeah. So and if you're overseas, time, U.S. time, <laughs> overseas, good luck. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like four in the morning. But who would be awake? Like, I want to see it in the comments. Who would be around for something yeah, at fun. that time? But. Anyway, all right, let's get on with this. Are you are you looking up things? I'm just looking. I don't think is this, this ten isn't things the same women thing? don't want men to know about them. You're I'm looking up saying, my article. I got, I, is that the same article? No, it's not. I see? got a Reddit. There's more things. And already the first one I read, I was like, that's dumb. Of course we know that. <laughs> well, what is it? What How is much it? their things really cost. Well, go ahead. Expand. Like their luxury items. It says, men often don't realize how much our beloved bags and shoes cost us. And often women don't tell the entire truth. It's not as though we lie about the cost. We just embellish. That is a synonym for lie. <laughs> <laughs> if a bag is 25% off, we may say it was 50% off. Bro, we know. We know you're I, spending hundreds I, of dollars on I these I legitimately, things. Jenny came home. So as you know, we're getting ready to move into our house. So we're like taking these last moments of having money and trying to buy stuff for the house. And Jenny's been getting a little carried away here and there. And she's like, I had a coupon for 20% off. I had to use it. I'm like, it would have been 100% off yes. had you not purchased <laughs> it. Yep. That's Lisa. Yep. I Every saved time. this much. I go, I don't care. How much did you spend? <laughs> like, right. what's, yeah. there's, well, there's that You don't saying, save right? money when you buy things we don't need. <laughs> what's, what's that saying that women would buy? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to butcher the saying. Basically, women will pay twice as much for stuff that they don't need. Or no, I'm, I'll have to think on it. Basically, it's like I women kinda, will pay so much for stuff that they don't need, or men will pay twice as much for stuff that they actually do need. Is that mm. the front? I think it's is that forward facing. Uh, I'm talking now. I'm talking. Yeah, it's the forward facing camera Dang again. It. I was hoping that new PD charger would fix it. So oh. we have one camera that's been around with us for a long, long time, and it just uh, decides to turn off from here and there. Sun's getting time to time. <laughs> Does it work over here? Yep, there we go. Yeah, it's just the center camera. Stupid Are we still center recording? camera. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. still going. Hmm. Huh. We promise people we're going to get there, okay? Mm-hmm. We're just figuring oh. out the kinks, the quirks, but hey, there it is. It's back Whoop. on. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Right on. Have in you focus. seen uh, Abominable? Yes. Do you have an external charger? When those whooping snakes, whoop! <laughs> well, I've, I've got and they're like, whoop! There it is! Whoop! There it is! Whoop! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, my the, favorite is, is when Kara comes home and I'm like, how much did you spend? I don't know. It was like 60-ish dollars. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I end up seeing the receipt or the charge or whatever, and it ends up being like close to almost 80 or something. Or, yeah. or she'll say 60, and it's I actually like, ish. it's like <laughs> 69, 70 something. And I'm like, so you spent $70. You know, no, yep. I spent 60. I've noticed. No, it's before tag. Uh-huh. That's, that's the difference between Jenny and I, even just looking at a price tag. Like if you were to look at something that said $6.99, that's $7. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. She always, looks always. at it as six dollars mm. because it starts. <laughs> That's with six. the trick marketing, uh-huh. and it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> See, and they could. It's purely marketing because you can just advertise the price with tax. You, yeah, yes. absolutely, yeah. You can. Or they can even make a solid price, and that includes tax. Oh, mm-hmm. that's the saying. Women will pay for stuff they don't need, and men will spend twice for things that they do need. So basically, like men would pay twice the amount for a tool 
that they need versus women just spend money to spend that money. That tool becomes an heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it shows the Cast fallacy on both, that, that's actually on both sexes. 100% though. like conversations me and Shaley have had where I'm like, I buy this thing and it's a tool or something. I'm like, this is going to help us. It's going to be useful many different times. Right. Yeah. That thing is not. <laughs> that's actually... Like, that's that's a binky that they will no longer need in three months. <laughs> they don't need collector's binkies, okay? They need two. See, and I, <laughs> Maybe. I set up a salary for us, like what we get paid for, for the home, right? And then I have to buy tools for, for the company and I pay for them out of the business account. She's like, well, you spent this much. I was like, the company spent that much. <laughs> like it's going into making more money. I mean, that's exactly. not to say that I don't have my frivolous spending. One oh, of our, I definitely have my frivolous spending. One of our, spending. Our, our long-running jokes, me and Shaylee, is that like I'll buy video games. And when she sees me playing it, she's like, what is this? I'm like, oh, it's this game that just came out. Don't worry, I, I pre-ordered it. Like, I bought it. <laughs> I pre-ordered it a while ago. And it worked a few times. And then one time I was playing, I was like, oh, just a new, this is a new game. She's like, did you pre-order it? And I was like... Yesterday, <laughs> like you got me. I mean, so I'll, now that's our joke. Every time she sees me playing a game, she's like, "You pre-order it." I'll be honest. I am definitely the spender out of Jess and I. One thousand percent, I'm the spender. But I don't know. I don't feel bad about it. Right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, that's, one of us has to enjoy a little bit. Of I money. mean, it's cool. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> All right, let's. but we know we know how much it costs usually. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna jump off the this like. This All right, is like, here we go. Here no, we go. No, 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 no. Oh, We're not oh. diving down a super deep hole, but it's, challenge accepted. It, it's kind of fun. I mean, it's never mind. Da, uh, it's gonna be funny whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> I just fill in the blank. <laughs> like, <laughs> Go. <just> gonna stop. <laughs> no, I told Cam I'm not doing that. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what's your question? Go. <laughs> Did you guys know that women's buttholes cramp during menstruation? What? You know, I don't think I know I that. didn't know this. This is new, is new that, information. I've never heard complaints about Is that it. all of them? Like is about while, what? Is it while they poop? About their butts crap. Uh, yeah, that's something. That no, I it's not their butts. Their the, butts. It's the, the sphincter. Hole. The sphincter. Never. I don't think my wife never heard a complaint. Yeah. I mean, you right. always I've always hear about the cramps kind of more up in like the uh, gut area, the uterus, kind of up in the uterus and everything, really? but the never butt. on that side. But yeah, is it is it like randomly or while they're trying to poop? <laughs> I don't know. Like, just, that's they, all it says. Do they spring it? But I'm just trying to think <laughs> yeah. of like Zach. Back Charlie when he horse. Had his Charlie horse underneath the table, and he was crying over here. Yeah. Could you like, imagine? Is it your the butthole? actual like leather <laughs> Cheerio itself? Yeah, that's, it that's the muscle. Oh, that bro! Could you imagine? You're sitting there, and you're like, oh. Like, how do you, what to, do you have to do? Grab your cheeks kissing. and pull? Like, I don't know. It turns into a figure eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even think that's possible. Like well, when, I didn't think it was possible like when for you a twist cramp a, it's either. like when you twist a rubber band too much and it just falls out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my that's gosh. It. That's, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. Good job, Chris. <laughs> Proud it's like it's like when you're trying to put that like that like kids tent away that like twists with the bars and it just Holy crap. Those things are surprising no, too. Yeah. You think you got it and it's like, yeah, like oh yeah. <laughs> Or like those, yeah, the windshield thing. That's thing. the closest <laughs> to the speed of light I've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Those things are terrifying. Oh, and I still it's like can't trying figure to them set out. a mouse trap. It's the same concept. Yep. Oh, you think you figure it out, and like you try to fold them again, and it like never works. Right. Yep. And then it takes you like tw- thirty minutes, and then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, it's an act. Every time you find it, it's an next accident. thing you know. You yeah. black out. Like, and you're oh, stomping on it. <laughs> you're like, I just did the same movement five <laughs> minutes ago. What Why it is, didn't it is work it's now? one extra twist. I always think I've got it, and then you realize you have to one more twist, and then it goes. Mm. Ridiculous. 
Oh, gosh. Oh, no, man. that's, that's that definitely was, one I did not know. That, that was, was funny. sucked to poop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you gosh, do? Could you imagine if it did it halfway through pooping and it like cuts Looks it like off a halfway curly through? Fry. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like twitching. It's like a freaking <laughs> gallon gun of poop. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's an Arby's fry. <laughs> you know, it's the a ridge. Cr- it's a crinkle or fry. The, yeah, the, the like ridge the, or the curly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause like saucer, dude. Hogtail. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all the ridges. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, it's like, this like the Play-Doh a, thing. Shouldn't be this funny. <laughs> Comes out shaped like a star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the yeah, the shaped Play-Doh thing. The Play-Doh factory. Oh, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> all right, go on. What to are the next you looking thing. at? Huh? What uh, are you looking at? I was just looking at questions. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah, just, you know. Don't spoil these. Enjoy the moment. Go on to the next one. Yeah, Let's get All right, funny. next one. Oh, you're just going to, I'm not allowed to look up questions? Well, you can. Know. Fine. No. No, no you can. I don't want to. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm, I'm going into these fall blind. Asleep. <laughs> no, hang on. <laughs> answer. <laughs> I'm going to go into these blind with you guys, so don't worry. <laughs> Selecting the right tampon is a gamble every time. I've too small it. for the flow, and you can feel it trying to fall out of you as you walk because it's heavy. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Too I big for the flow, and you'll be faced with pulling out a partially dry wad. I did Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sandpaper. Wait, but why is it different every time? Like The amount of flow. The amount of flow. It changes See, yeah. Yeah. each time? Yeah, yeah, there's heavy days, light days, medium days. Rough. So you got to know which one to place. It's a gamble. Yep. You just I, put them all in a fishbowl and just reach in and hope <laughs> for the best. The dryness. Can you saturate them or what? The dryness is what I just can't imagine. Maybe that. Yeah, can you oh. just do that? No. <laughs> yeah, that's... Throw some olive oil like, have you, as, as weird as it is, have you ever taken like a piece of paper to like your lip and, and it then, sticks? And it oh, sticks. Yeah. And then Ooh. instead of peeling it off, you try and just pull it off. Like that's what I imagine a dry oh, tampon being like. Oh my goodness. Chaps Could it. You like... Yeah. Chapped lips. Like, couldn't you though? Couldn't you like get it like Why are we hit it with a bidet or something? Because it was the question. I honestly have deep dove in the with Lisa on the on this question. You deep dove? Deep dove. Like deep what? Let's hear. Check the oil or what? <laughs> <laughs> and you thought it would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it would be. I, you're just across from me. I'm always looking that direction. Just asking her questions, <laughs> and some of them I probably don't want to say because. It's oh come on! Now you have to. No, we're here. No. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> it, all, it only takes about three seconds of silence if you crack every time. I'm not doing it this time. Come on, there's some. It's personal for Lisa, yes. not just women, but Lisa. Lisa, yeah. well, it wasn't Lisa you were asking. <laughs> we got Martin off the one again. So this friend of mine, <laughs> so this yeah. friend of mine, has, who's not has Lisa, a wife. let's call her Liza, who I ask <laughs> questions <laughs> that are personal. That's not my wife. Is it really that bad, or is it just educational? Uh, it's 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 informational. Okay, but yeah. All right, next one. Thank All right, you. fine. Thanks, yeah. Tony. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I don't like talking about flow. <laughs> it's bro. You got I'm three curious. daughters. I you gotta yeah. learn. No, I, ain't I learn, get curious I ain't about nothing. it and I ask questions. <laughs> Not your problem? No, it's not my problem. It's Kara's problem. That's mom's problem. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, this one says... Like, what's he going to do? Go in and show him how it's done? No! Whoa! <laughs> no! No! Oh, that's... All right. My bad. <laughs> my kids aren't that old yet, so it doesn't I'm going to be dealing weird. with the boy problem. I'll be honest, I don't... No, I... Never mind. The hormones. Here's, here's the sad thing. What's going to happen in my life is when Katie gets her first period, Kara's going to be gone and I'm going to be the one dealing with it. Yes, yeah, so you got to prepare yourself. I don't want to. You cannot be it's not that, that guy. bad. I can be that guy. Ah, you got to step it up. 
He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Call grandma. Even, he's going to be like not. knocking on the... Do you need a towel? What do you... Uh, <laughs> it's not even scary. What I, can you I just get go, you? You just go buy the diaper ones and you just throw them at him. <laughs> I'll go get you the chamois out of the garage. Yep. What do you need? The chamois. <laughs> the chamois. <laughs> How heavy is it? Do you need a chamois or a drop cloth? Which <laughs> one? Say. Y'all, y'all in the comments can call me a bad dad all you want. I don't. No. Oh no! Why do you think they're calling you a bad dad? Is that a person? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, you feeling attacked? <laughs> you feeling? You feeling, you feeling attacked by the imaginary people? <laughs> yeah, I am. Imaginary people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're real people. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know if they've said anything yet. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Okay. The imaginary yeah, comments? Just, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm really weird when it comes to periods. I don't. See, and I, I get not, curious about I it, and I ask like, lots I of questions. I'm in the middle. I don't like Kaylee will talk to me about it, and I want her to be comfortable, so I just don't say anything. <laughs> See, that's I just let <laughs> her talk to me. I'm like, interesting. That's <laughs> kind of me too. It's like if hmm. you want to talk to me about it, great, but I'm not gonna ask. And yeah, how did like, it make not, you I'm feel? Gonna, I'm not and gonna how did dig that make you feel? I'm like, oh, that's okay. Got you. <laughs> Do you need more? All right, I'll, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm going to the store. I'll be back. <laughs> Zach's going to be like trying to talk. Blah! No. <laughs> Shut <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> 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 He's just throwing stuff at him. <laughs> Shoving food in her mouth. Shut up. Shut up. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go sit in the bathtub. <laughs> oh, Mom will be home in three days. <laughs> <laughs> just go sit in the shower. Mom will be home <laughs> eventually. <laughs> oh man! All right, this one says again, going in blind. Here we go. That sometimes you get that awful sudden cramp during. You got, oh my gosh, this one's kind of written poorly. That sometimes you get that awful sudden cramp during period when you can't sit nor bend, or stand straight because any movement feels like your ovaries are about to burst. So you just stay there in an awkward position, not really standing, not really sitting, but just waiting until it goes away just as sudden. My ex used to call that the vag attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I can, I mean, the only thing I can assume would be the closest to what they feel is have you ever had those like intense like gas cramps? Oh, uh, oh, those yeah. hurt. Dude, like, they hurt so way bad. bad. Like I've, you know, I've been in, I've been on the toilet in the middle of the night, and you're just like, oh, why am I dying for no reason? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. You're like, what is happening? And it always has the right here. Too. Yeah. It's all like you're fine before we go to bed, and then you're just like up, and you're like, ah, I'm dying, dude. Really? Yeah. I they was wondering suck. what I've never had anything like that in my life. I went to go. So oh, right. This is this is a new 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 adventure new for experience. Chris. It, it was terrible. We I had to go. <laughs> I went. I go by myself in the morning, and I go bottle feed the calves. We have we have some calves, and I go bottle feed the calves, and I'm crouched over feeding this calf, and it just all of a sudden it just felt like pressure was building b- yeah. below my diaphragm. And it was, and it felt like I couldn't, like when I was taking breaths, it just would hurt so bad. Yeah. So I was like shallow breathing. I started sweating. Yep. I had to, every time I had to leave the calf and take the bottle, set it down. I went and laid. So they're at my dad's, on my dad's property, not mine right now. I went and laid under a tree staring up and I just started praying. I was like, I think this is the time I'm leaving. <laughs> I honestly thought Dude. I was dying. I really did. It was so bad. <laughs> I didn't have my phone. I was like, I halfway through going down. I was like, is this I what a heart attack feels I like? Did. Dude, because I, I was, really thought it'd be higher in the chest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was right here below my diaphragm and it just like, I was like, Dude, and you feel them <laughs> shallow breathing. You feel it move. And it's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. like Rearrange oh. like your guts feel like they're just like oh, no, that's not what mine oh, did. Yeah, mine just terrible. felt like pressure in my oh, below dude. my diaphragm. You probably had higher up in the oh, in the intestine. Was, I really thought I was dying. I was like, dude. please take care of my family. <laughs> Make that's sure. when that's when you do that praise all the uh, you know. I'm pretty sure you I'm praying on your every knees single time. And you, and you put your butt in the air and it works every time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You know what I mean? You praise Allah, whatever it is. What? <laughs> I get I've you. never done that. Is that a legitimate thing? It helps. Just like, oh yeah, dude. Gas, oh yeah, because gas goes up. Yeah. So if you stick your butt in the you air, you want to move it towards the butthole. 
Interesting. Yeah, dude. Uh, I laid. I, mean, I, I knew that, but I never thought to like. I was rolling put my butt up on the. Oh grass. yeah, dude. I do. I go. I'm. I'm always like this. It's like those weird mazes. <laughs> yeah, the little ball. <laughs> yeah, so I'm always like, oh gosh. Yeah. You're helping it guide Come through your on. intestines. Like. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So and then immediately taking a modium and gas X, and then I usually <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> So yeah, next time just you know. Hmm. Oh, dude, it was terrible. But in the air. Excuse me or, for a sec. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or you lay on your left side. Yeah, left side. I think that's what. Yeah, I was. If you lay on your left side, that also promotes expulsion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> expulsion. <laughs> yeah, the left side's the better side. Yeah, definitely. especially with uh, was it with heartburn and stuff. Yeah. So you want to lay on your left side or butt in the air. Back on the uh, that's a good idea. The question though, I I did know that that they'll get those sudden. I have no like idea, that. not a clue. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I just fig- I just kind of figured that's just cramps in general. Well, Lisa Lisa has endometriosis, so it makes it. She says it makes it ten makes times it worse, worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> oh boy. No, it's not bad. It's just something I didn't know. <laughs> All right. Our vaginas are so acidic that they can bleach underwear. A lot of girls who own black underwear will know what I'm talking about. No way. Dude, what? His eyes perked. He's like, yeah, I know this one. Yeah, that's why you have pre ejaculate. It's. To take the city out of the vaginal canal, so that way it doesn't kill your sperm. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Freaking. That took it to shut a up. Level. Like hell. Well, no, it's educational. Chris. That's educational. That's not dirty. Well, no, no, I, no, no, no. I'm not yeah, saying I'm, that. Like, my mind is blown. Yeah. 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 Whatever. It protects the sperm. It's so. Wait a second. We have a a counterattack to their booby traps. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're or vagina veggie, veggie traps. traps. <laughs> <laughs> they're veggie traps. Oh, that's the hashtag for tonight. <laughs> Does that mean it's a counterattack? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Weird, dude. That's. Dang nature! Lower the drawbridge. What was that? What was that? Instead of calling it blue balls, they should call it a cummy ache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So fun. That's, that's good. That's real good. It reminds yeah. me of like a, a Trojan horse. Almost. So there's. That's wild. Some that's women. That's probably why the condoms are called Trojans. During periods, use this. Use oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh I missed gosh. it. <laughs> How did it take this When did long? this turn to a shower thought? What just Whoa. happened? Bro. <laughs> Bro, they're called the condoms. They're Trojans. Uh-huh. Like a Trojan horse. Oh. Once it hung. reaches the gate, it lets out its soldiers. <laughs> and then, no, they die in the horse. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like preventing the... T- <laughs> what? Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm never going to think of it the same. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Goodness, that a boy, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> they die in the horse. Wow! <laughs> that has layers to it. Oh my god! We gosh, have to unpack was... that. that. But they're good. ultra thin <laughs> 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 and ribbed. <laughs> Interesting. Man. Weird. Yeah. But yeah, I've heard that, and I've heard that there's a section in women's underwear drawer that's. Per- Period panties. That's, yeah. That's their, yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely, definitely not the, white. Definitely not white. No. Nope. Definitely not not black, but not for know. viewing. Yeah. I guess. And fo- fully covered. <laughs> like they're not the ones to look it's like tight and skimpy. It's like you got your race race horse that you sit and prod around, and you got your mule that just gets the job done. <laughs> you know. <laughs> the mule. Yeah. The mule you panties. <laughs> mule panties. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. That's why that's a strong, sturdy, and gets the job of, uh, done. You know. It's the, that's a running joke of like women always wearing white pants. It's like you know, oh, they're not on there. <laughs> anyway, or at least they don't know they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. I feel like you look at that educational. You didn't know that coming in today. You're gonna learn some things. Learned a thing or two. All right. Let's see. If you have long hair, you will definitely be pulling hair out of your butt crack after you shower. I do. I do that. I do that. Dude, have you ever got stuck around the shaft? (laughs) No, I haven't had that yet. Oh, I like saw it and (laughs) you pull it like pulls the whole thing. Like, ah! 
like it's a weird <laughs> sensation. It's like you, you, isn't it like that Ted Lasso episode? Feel like it's like in those movies where there's some sort of like piano wire or something that's just gonna chop off the top. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Yo, oh, what is it? What is it? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> that's such a good episode. <laughs> Easily the best episode. Everyone scre- he screams and everyone's just like, he's. <laughs> well, it's. Like, you'll go to pull it, and you think you get it. It's just going to be a quick thing, and all of a sudden, it just keeps going. You're like, ah! Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yep, a little puppet happen. show. Mm-hmm. I don't understand Marriott, it, because Jess, Jess sheds hair crazy. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I find it all over me, all the time. It's it woven into my clothes. That's the thing that's weird to me, is when it like is it, it's like through Stitched. your clothes. Yeah. yeah. And you're yeah. like, oh, a little like this. Right there. <laughs> what is, that is in my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Or where it's like actually in it. You pull at it and it's actually like in your shirt. Yeah. Like, like tugged at it. Well, me and Lisa had a come to Jesus moment because sometimes she'd take her towel off. She'd leave her towel. She'd go into the closet to, to dress or whatever and leave her towel. Shower the next day and she used my towel. I was like, hey. That's like my holy. You that's my space. You like, don't do that. You don't use my towel. You don't use my. You towel. know when you dried your face? Please. Last or thing I dried do, was my balls. Or if you do, could you please get me a towel so I'm not using it? There's nothing worse than using a damp towel oh, to yeah. dry when you get out of the shower. Yeah. You know what I hate? On the, on the hair thing, this happened. I can't remember. I it's like given me this habit that I brush my feet off now before I put my socks on. Because there was one time I was putting my socks on from getting out of the shower and being in the bathroom, and there was a, a hidden hair, like a long hair, in my feet, and I didn't know it until I put my sock on, and then it like pulled it into my toes, yeah. and I could feel the tightness That's, of the yes, hair yes, around yes. my toes. Picture that around your penis. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, That's what it is. Nope, it's I haven't had that. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It drove me nuts. Huh. Couldn't get my sock no, off. Drove your toes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Drove his nut. Drove his nut. <laughs> Dude, they'll also, they ever put it, so Shaylee will like put it, a collection of it on the wall. Oh, I hate that. But then oh. she, she always throws it away. So credit oh, to her. Good. She oh. always takes it and throws it away. But I remember one time I went on a cruise with some friends and they would two girls and they would use the shower and they would just plaster their hair to the wall so i'd get in the shower and i'm just like this this mosaic of like hair they even eventually made like animals like (laughs) left me drawings of hair it was so weird i'm like how do you lose that much oh every time you shower dude every time i shower so jess doesn't do that but her (laughs) collection she won't pick up her hair so I have a grate over our drain, uh-huh, and I literally, I can scrape my foot across it, and there's always a pile of hair that I have to collect after yeah. I shower That's every time. That's her job. Yeah. She <laughs> collect your it. own I, body parts. She'll even leave out her brush because it's like, you know how they get collected in hair? Yeah. She'll leave it out because she wants me to clean it. <laughs> I will say, though. I, 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 like I think doing it's fun that. pulling it off. It is fun. I don't weird, want to admit it. It's a weird like you know, puck of hair. Yeah. Do you know like, what the trick to that is? <laughs> you're like, is you take the back end of a comb and get it underneath and you go underneath all the different that things. That sounds and fun. Get it all out oh, nice. that's fun. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, See, the funny, funny thing is, is I won't let her know that I like that because I want her to feel <laughs> like now. I'm making a sacrifice. <laughs> right. I'm doing this for you. And so yeah. every time you pick it up, you're like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know one that's kind of gross that uh, is in a weird way kind of satisfying for me is i'll snake our drains oh oh my god i hate that <laughs> <laughs> i hate that so much see and, and it, i as long as it, it doesn't stinks. as long as it doesn't smell because you're right there's a smell but as long as it doesn't smell i kind of like you know, you dip the snake, you pull it out. It's like, no, no. It's almost like fishing. And then yeah. it's like, oh, oh, you that's a big one. one. <laughs> that's a you pull it out. Reel it in. You're pulling out a big old muskrat. You're like, oh, my gosh, look at that. And you <laughs> kind of have the picture taken with it. Like, See, the best part of being bald is every time it's clogged with hair, I can easily just be like, this is you guys. Yeah. This is not me. I don't know. Have you yeah. seen the rest of your body? <laughs> Fact, <laughs> but <laughs> they're always way longer. Than yeah, I like it when it fights back. Like, <laughs> now I will say though, going back to the hair and the shirt thing, I have had chest hair find Stick. its way out of both shirts, and I see it and I grab it and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, it's so attached. I'm like, That's we got a live one. <laughs> Keep that in there. Have you ever had a hair like get stuck in your f- clothes clothes fibers and you're like. <laughs> 
And yeah, it happened have the to other like day hurry and on like, the back of my thigh. Oh, <laughs> it like got stuck or something. And I was like, ah, ah. Have you ever had a hair sliver? No, I don't have that problem. Yes. Oh, yeah, those suck. Yeah, because yeah, you can't find them. They're You're awful. like, I had it in my knuckle, and I was like, they're all hair. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's nothing I can do about this. Why is it when they're coming out, it doesn't hurt? <laughs> right? Because <laughs> there's a natural order to things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Goodness. Gosh. All right, let's see here. Shaving the hair off of our bodies is like an Olympic sport. Pooping and being on your period is a different level of pain. What does the first part <laughs> yeah, of that how have do they to do? Correlate? I think I think they labeled two of them. So shaving, like, oh. that's an Olympic sport because, like, when you're having to get the back of your legs. Uh, angles. Like, we understand this because of our men try. But it is a, some weird it is a feat to try and get all of your legs. I used smooth. to shave my legs. I know that. I know that feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like your feet, feet or <laughs> no. F E A T? No. The f yeah, F E A T. Oh, okay. yeah. Because right. gotcha. I thighs. I shave my thighs still. It drives me nuts having hair on my thighs. Hmm. Dude, I I cannot not have. I'm hair. probably it feels so weird to me. I like it. I feel like there's an extra sensory. Like with your hair, it's like, like a, having it's like hair. a safety a, mode. Yeah, exactly, like it's, it's like a Peter yeah. tingle. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you feel anything good. before it hits you. Actually, right? Like, <laughs> no, I get that. There's a buffer zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I also feel like my legs are dead when I when they're shaved. Yeah, I, like I, it feels I, like they're I, not I mine. I understand <laughs> that feeling. I'm like, whose are these? <laughs> the thing that I do like though is. In the summer, like if I'm too hot, like I'll trim my legs and I, it, like it instantly cools me off. Mm, I can handle the heat shot. so much That's better. That's why I like the sheets. Also, like shave my thighs and I go in the sheets. I'm like, ah, it's yeah, nice. it feels good. It's nice. It's only it's for the first 10 seconds after. Then there's already stubble and it drives me nuts. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> I, yeah, right. I'm not a fast growing hair guy. What was the I second half of that? That's probably oh, the second half was me. pooping and being on your period is a different level of pain. Oh, like pooping while being on. Yeah. Oh, I so wonder that, if it has to do with the bum hole. I just had a horrible thought about that. Is that the so, cramping bum hole? Yeah, maybe. So on uh, uh, as a follow up, there's someone else that says to me, it feels like a spiritual cleanse. At first, you're cramping heavy and bloated, but then you feel eight pounds lighter, like nothing can ruin your day. <laughs> I mean, that's most of Feeling my Feeling like too. crap? <laughs> Take one. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, this one says, no clue when our periods end. We often just kind of go, F it, I'm done with this, and then decide it's done when we, when it's about to end. Also, period panties. Okay. Um, every woman experiences discharge, and it's normal. It is not leftover ejaculate from another man. I recently had to explain this to a man in his 30s. Hmm. It's like, I mean... <clears throat> I, there a lot time of this I know by that? just like, being married. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think it's unreasonable. I don't for think a I've ever gone through the laundry that. chute checking panties. Yeah. Why not? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he speaks <laughs> at a very strange time. <laughs> <laughs> Mister can't talk about period. <laughs> Going through underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude! You just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I just picture like a medieval helmet. You just <laughs> <laughs> medieval helmet, like <laughs> like the yellow latex gloves for dishes. Bro, Magnifying that was glass. So out of left field. That came out of nowhere. You gotta give oh. me a warning next time. Came right up out of the hamper. Good month, huh, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> You do do the laundry in your I house. I do do the laundry, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're <laughs> 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 dying. <laughs> oh, gosh. man. Okay. On a side note, I hate that. That word is just not fun. Panties. Discharge. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like schmear. That's a bad one, too. Yeah, it's just... Schmear. schmear. It's just a Yeah. Schmear's a weird word. Yeah. Uh, this one, this one's pretty yeah, funny. We sometimes get a pain in the boob and wonder if we're gonna have a heart attack. 
That's hilarious. In the boob itself? Yeah. Like wow. pain. Yeah. Like, so I, oh, I would totally. I wonder if they get the same urge where like, you know, when sometimes you feel pain, you just want to, you, you hit it. No. No. Like you ever had that? Like, you're, like your like arm oh, hurts. Oh, I totally get Your arm that. hurts and you're yeah. just like, like, stop it. Like, what is this? <laughs> you Never. like hit it and you're like, Never? Stop that. No. I do it every time. I'm like, if some weird pain, I'm like, hit it. I think it's kind of like to check if it's worse than it is. And if it doesn't hurt more when I hit it, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm good. That's, it's like, it's like pro, like probing it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. You're like, what is Cam has actually given himself CPR and doesn't realize it. <laughs> oh, why does that? Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hurt that bad. Or <laughs> I'm ahead of the curve, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's see. These other losers need in someone else boob, to do it. <laughs> what was that? I said these other losers need someone else to do it. <laughs> Especially the ladies. Your boobs hurt? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me check. Me. I got to tell a story. Yeah, tell go for it. it. Late one night, I was eating something, and I choked. I choked. No. <laughs> You, you're the one who's pushed. I didn't okay. say anything. Wow, Cam. I said nothing. Wow. Wait, was it tuna? I'm I, curious. No, get, get I pictured a bowl of, of cereal. Butter. No, I was eating like I was it was a piece of like steak, steak or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, it was. I was. I was like, oh, it was steak. I think it was bloody. And Lisa was. Holy stop hell! It. So Lisa was. See, I don't. <laughs> Filet mignon. You're eating some steak. Quit Delicious. It. Medium yeah. rare. <laughs> Finish. Tastes like <laughs> iron. That's, that's what they. Okay. Go. Finish your story. <laughs> oh no, look, I think hey, we found did something. You that Zach like. Did you forget your manners? Did you forget your manners? Say please. Please. Say please. Okay, I'll finish my story. <laughs> <laughs> Zach so, hates periods. He uh, hates periods. So, Zach. Just like spiders. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> So anyways, I was, eating, story. I was eating, I got hungry, I was eating steak or something, and I started choking, legitimately choking, and Lisa oh. was asleep, I go, and I couldn't talk or anything, nothing was coming in, nothing was going out. Mm, that's, that's terrible. Terrifying. I started just hitting my chest on the side of the bed, trying to give myself the Heimlich, and Lisa woke up, and she's like, <gasps> and starts giving me the Heimlich, she saved my life. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Lisa when was saved? It was a long time ago. I don't even know why I forgot that story. It's probably put back in the subliminal mind there. <laughs> oh. That's ter- I I almost choked on something. Once. Lisa, yeah, it dude. is so terrifying. I legitimately choked, and I was like hitting myself, and I could feel it moving. Yeah, oh. in oh. there. Yeah, like yeah. Like see, I I ran pushed. into the kitchen, and like I couldn't talk, couldn't breathe, Damn. and I was like doing the thing, and I was trying to like push air oh. out, and finally, right before Shaylee was about to give me the Heimlich, I caught I. Pushed enough air out that it dislodged it. See, and I moved and it, I, but dude. Lisa fin- did the finishing like. Oh, oh, it's geez. so terrifying, dude. It was not. Yeah, it was. Did not you fun. did you guys know that the Heimlich was only invented in the eighties? Really, I did not know that. I feel like that's one of those memes where it's like. <laughs> 80s People were better. People choking in 1979. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's like, Seriously, though. Well, they're dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, they, like, literally years before we were born is when the Heimlich that's maneuver crazy. came out. That's crazy. So that's wild. weird to think about. So it was like well, someone's choking. They you're like, they just hit them on the back? I think the hitting on the back thing was probably... Or just full on Now that I remember, hoping you can grab it. Now that I remembered that, I'm going to get one of those, those suction. We have those. One. Oh, yeah. yeah. We bought two. I need, well, I need to get What are they called? I forget. What probably, gonna, thingies. probably gonna order some after this. But we do. For not a also. sponsor. That's actually no joke. That is one of my biggest fears with my kids. Mm. Yeah. 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 I don't it, know why. I'm sorry, nice I had to share that do. story. They come with the different sized like mouth pieces, mm. and so if it is a kid, you can hurry. But that's when I realized Lisa really does love me. <laughs> you know, I, that's right. She could have just taken the she you know, insurance. Yeah. Oh no, he's he's gone. He's <laughs> dead. I don't know why she suddenly had a British accent. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> no, but, I'm not. Because aren't you supposed to do it if you're by yourself? Do it on like the corner of yeah. a. Uh, Isn't it like you that like table you, you, you find your rib? You, you have find to get to your sternum right and then three fingers down. Yeah. yeah, and that's where you put your thumb. I learned that's where that. You have to do it. I learned it in Boy Scouts, but yeah, so we had the rails on the bed, and they went up high, almost to the mattress, and I was hitting myself against Ugh. those rails, trying to, like, I just... You know, like, the crazy. one part of me is like, oh, that had hurt so bad, hitting yourself in the you gut don't like that, shit. but I was going to say, <laughs> in the moment, you're like, I don't care. Yeah. Well, I want to breathe. Here's something I didn't know. Um, so, Jess's grandma was 97, 98, and she had a DNR, but she was fully healthy, like... 
happy, healthy, super sharp. Remind me what a DNR is. Do, Do not, not resuscitate. resuscitate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was sitting there like, why? Like, she's very sharp, extreme. Like, she was very quick-witted, still very active, would get out, garden, do laundry, all this stuff. And she was 98, 90, you know? And they explained to me, like, well, if the, they if she didn't have a DNR, oftentimes they'd have to perform <laughs> chest compressions, and that would break her bones. And then the healing would most likely lead to her death. Uh, and so it would be or a she'd slow, be in far worse shape than yeah, she was before. Exactly. Right. And so she would be in a slow, painful death versus just, you know, going out. So I was like, oh, I didn't realize that. Like, that's interesting to know. Something I never had considered. Yeah. Anyway, uh, here's one. This one says there is an insatiable type of horniness that some women get premenstrual cycle that is almost impossible to satisfy. And then, like the wind, it Show vanishes, <laughs> and in Prove place it's, is a hungry, cute, sometimes cuddly, sometimes grumpy couch potato. Hmm. Wait, what was that? When, that when, did, the, when did the cute come Prove in? It. When the menstrual cycle Prove. hits. Oh. Prove it. <laughs> you used to always do it. I love that commercial so much. See, I think you uh, disgust me. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> and I hope this isn't too personal for her, but for Jenny's, that little window of arousal is right after her menstrual cycle. Nice. But this one's for Zach. Period blood <laughs> isn't just blood. It's all sorts of <laughs> claggy crap from your uterus claggy. cleaning itself out. The ne ne next question. Is this the <laughs> no. kind of thing you wanted? No. <laughs> But maybe you oh, didn't know that's that. Also no, to add, to sometimes that. big chunks of flesh can come Ew. out. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> no one told me this, and I had a major freak out until I could Google it and find out that it was normal. What? No, why? Be careful Googling that. You're going to get pictures. But I will say, there's something to that. Like... <laughs> There is nothing like, to that. There is. I mean, as a as a young lady going through this yeah. and thinking your body's just ripping itself it apart. It is. Yeah, and but thinking you're going to die because <laughs> nobody told you what actually happens. You remind me of Mr. Garrison off of South Park. I just don't trust anything that bleeds for five days and doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there'll be like giant looking clots and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's terrifying. <laughs> so there's a there's a follow up and it says, ha ha ha, this is what you were get this is what you get for asking, and then someone responds, Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh man. You used your high voice for a second there. No. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As Jenny and I put it, getting getting high and squeaky. Yeah. This one's pretty good. I mean, if it's not obvious, the longer the shower, the more the shaving. So if they're in there for a long time, they're obviously shaving a lot. That's not true. Push your luck, boys, if it's a long shower. <laughs> I'm curious. Now you piqued my interest. What's not true about it, Zach? Jenny doesn't shave in the shower. She shaves. Why does she shave? Like she, she sits on the edge of the bathtub and shaves, and then after she's done, then she gets in the shower. and. Hmm. So she like fills up the tub? Yeah. Like oh. she fills up the tub a few inches of water because she uses shaving cream on her legs. And so... Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Dogs love to smell our crotches when we're menstruating. It's extremely uncomfortable. Mm. Makes all sense. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We'll I'm going to be fun. We'll, we'll, end, <laughs> we'll end on this one. If I'm doing an awkward shuffle, it's probably because I'm trying to get an air bubble out of my vag. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why don't you just do a handstand or something? <laughs> that's like the that's do like a the cartwheel. Female. Every time you <laughs> see a cartwheel. girl do a cartwheel or walk on her hands, you're like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> it's like how they tease the guys will suddenly get that Elvis walk. Yeah, when yeah. we're yep. trying to hands I'm sticking free. the balls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like that's the girl version of that. Yep. Not yeah. anymore though. Not for us boys with them ball hammocks. Oh yeah, those are nice. I have a couple pairs of those. Yeah, they're fantastic. They are Dude, genius. Why did it take so long? It's like know. the boys came home for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Special well, special time. We I hope know. you guys enjoyed this episode. I know Zach sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you came in out of left field with probably the best joke of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I sure hope you guys loved it. What's our hashtag? 
Chris well, said it earlier. Well, I didn't. Tony said it. I just no, what was it? You said the term. I forgot. Fat, oh, yeah. Fat, something. Fat. Oh. Was it about the acid? No. A cummy ache. It was during the, yeah, it was during the booby trap. I called it. Oh, oh a vagitrap. Trap. trap. But, but Vag- was it that? Vagitrap? It was vagitrap. right before the condom thing, right? Or was it that? All right, we'll just do hashtag Trojan. Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Mm. Look at us. Oh. You think we're seniors over here with dementia trying to remember what our oh. conversation was. Our recall than, is very much More than off. 10 minutes ago. It's, uh, gone. it's, it's gone. It's gone. Mm. It's gone. So, uh, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys would like us to do an Ask Men episode, please leave us your Ask Men questions down below using that hashtag, and uh, we'll get around to it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. We'll try and keep our, you know, raunchy episodes not so raunchy, so they're more... F- more. This one, I think, was really funny. Okay, <laughs> this good. Is, this is good. hilarious. All right, good. <laughs> Parts of it were. Parts of it. Zach hated it. I loved it because Zach hated it. <laughs> thanks. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys here next now week. Bring us Ciao. Some Love you guys. Thanks Gross. for being part of this crowd. <laughs> Arrivederci. Citizen. <laughs>